is vital for a multitude of reasons. It enhances knowledge, improves vocabulary, and boosts critical thinking skills. In our fast-paced world, it's essential to reflect on the significance of reading in our lives. The chicken, the frog, and more serves as a poignant reminder of how reading acts as a guiding signpost through life. It helps us navigate challenges and explore new ideas, much like following road signs on a journey. Let me draw you a little picture. Let's just say you, were, you had to drive from Ligani to Montique Bay, and you did not know where you were going, and you needed signs to point the way. If you could not decipher those signs, you will not be able to find your way. Reading is like that through life. It allows us to find our way in many ways. It builds our comprehension. It helps us when we need to communicate with each other. It helps us when we need to build our imagination. Reading is a critical life skill. Oh, The Chicken, The Frog and More presents everyday scenarios in a relatable way, offering valuable life lessons through a variety of engaging stories. In a heartfelt narrative, young author Jotham Samuels shares his inspiring journey into writing and storytelling through his book. It reflects his journey of overcoming bullying, transforming his struggles into engaging narratives. I started writing at six years old. I actually had a homework assignment about writing and um, I, wrote, I wrote some stories for, for each homework assignment and I thought it would be a good idea to start writing, to start publishing them. So first, I got the homework on one, on one like um, Wednesday day or something and then I wrote the story because, because, I, because I always keep on getting bullied by some, of, by some of the people in my class and I thought that would be a good idea to so it's inside of some like cartoon setting. This spark of creativity led him to gather his tales into one book with the support of his parents. The Chicken and the Frog. It was a hot, sunny day. Mr. Frog was having a bath in the pond. He was having fun, enjoying the cool water. Then he heard someone laughing very loudly. It was Miss Chicken. The next day, Miss Chicken was out looking for seeds. Suddenly, a man grabbed her and put her into a bag. She began to call out for help. So I wrote the story. Then after that, I got other homework assignments on each on different days. And then that's how I got the other stories. And I told my mom, wouldn't it be a good idea to, to publish all of these stories into one book? Then my mom agreed on it. And now we have the chicken and the frog. Jotham's journey didn't stop at writing. He found that revisiting his stories deepened his love for reading. How did I start liking reading? I wrote this story and then I read back through the story and I actually felt engaged inside reading. Then I started reading more and more. This charming tale resonates with readers of all ages, reminding us that our stories have the power to inspire others, no matter how young we are. Through the lens of Jotham's experiences, we see that reading and storytelling are not just hobbies. They are vital components of personal growth and connection. Let us remember that every story has the potential to guide us, ignite our imagination, and inspire the next generation of storytellers. Mm -hmm.